Now we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Beauty EQ editor Trudy Brewer to look at how we can all get those luscious Hollywood lashes. Morning Trudy. Good morning Mel. Our lashes really do do so much for your eyes don't they? They do. They, they wake you up actually. And it's remarkable. For years I didn't wear mascara because I thought I didn't need it but then when I did start wearing it, yeah. such a yeah. difference. Oh totally. And, and the thing is for most women it's their Desert Island product. That or lip gloss. You know you won't leave the house without one thing. It's either mascara or lipstick. So what do you do if you've got sparse lashes? Well look I think you need a lash um, serum to be really fair. A mascara can only do so much mm -hmm. um, and a lash serum with proteins and prostaglandins helps beef up your lashes it, and it actually works. You know, Lilash, Revitalash, those lash serums are incredible at regrowing hair and giving your hair real thickness. So they do actually work but do, do you have work. to be careful where you put it? Are you going to get you rogue do. lashes? You can, no, you can. <laughs> actually that's true and the trick is to put it on in the morning. Put it next to your toothbrush and put it on in the morning. If you put it on at night that's when you can get a little bit of darkness <laughs> down here. Or staining, skin staining. So. Okay, and no one wants hair growing no, down here. No, that's right, we want less hair there. So what about light coloured lashes? You know, I always say to women, if you've got blonde lashes, get them tinted and then apply mascara because it looks like you've got a regrowth. When you put your mascara on, you can only get so close to the base. So mm. have your lashes tinted and then use mascara. What about actually putting the mascara on? Because this can be difficult, particularly if you've got glasses. Yeah, and I, a lot of ladies ask me that. They find they get dropped down down here once mm. they put it on. When you're wearing glasses, you really need to tilt your head back and hold a mirror up and start wiggling the mascara at the base. What often happens is you put too, you're put in a hurry and you put your mascara on, you've got too much on the ends and not enough on the base. So do one light coat and then re-go in with your brush and wiggle really close to the base and push your lashes up. Lash curlers, they are amazing. I know that we don't talk about them much anymore, mm. but they really help give your lash a, a lift. So you wiggle from the base and you wiggle, you and don't just paint on no, like this. No, you wiggle it across lengthways, backwards and right. forwards and push the lashes up and don't put too much on the ends because that's when the, the, it drops down. The other tip is if you find that you get dropped down down here, I often put a coat of mascara on and then just re dust very lightly over your lashes with a mineral powder in between coats and that helps the mascara stick. That's an excellent tip. Yeah. Um, how do we use these things of torture? Yeah, the things of torture, Anna. <laughs> Look at that. So you need to actually <laughs> Tilt your head downward and put the little, those are mine, so they've been used, they've got mascara all oh, over okay. them. Yeah. You put the little rubber base right on the um, base of the lashes, closest to the lash line, and then you just pulse it. You don't push down too hard because you can damage your lashes. Yes, and don't get flesh either. Don't no, get any of that eyelid in there because that hurts. Yeah. And if you find that your eyelids are a little bit droopy, which that can happen as you age, just pull your lid up and actually put them in that way. Okay. Yeah. What about false lashes? Yeah, love them. Uh, this is a favourite, obviously, of Adele. She does oh, false lashes incredibly well. She does. And, you know, they're not, they aren't that easy to put on, but the secret is the glue. Forget the glue that comes in the pack and invest in a tube of Duo. You can buy it at most makeup stores. It's what makeup artists use and it stays put. And the best thing to do is actually start at the edge and glue them down from the edge and then push them towards the corner of the eye. If you start in the corner, often the lash ends up halfway up your eyelid. Mm -hmm. So it's better to start at the end and then put them on. Okay, and Duo is the glue Duo that we need to get. Duo is incredible. Oh, and of course her makeup artist, Michael Ashton yeah. from Hamilton. Yeah, so Hamilton look, Kiwi Boy doing so well. Kiwi Boy doing so well. Well, he's also the um, makeup artist now for Marc Jacobs Beauty, which is wow, cool. yeah. big things. He has made it. So you bought some products in for us. I not have. all I've mascaras got, are the uh, same. Not all mascaras were made equal. So I bought three in, and I guess <clears throat> I want to start with this one, which I discovered overseas this year. Um, Too Faced is probably the fastest growing beauty brand in the world. It's a really great brand. It's got some really quirky products. That is called Better Than Sex Mascara. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and Jury's I, out on that one. And I'm just going to leave that there, but I can tell you that that I would not be without that mascara now. Really? It's phenomenal. <laughs> okay. um, so that's a goodie. Got a, a, a polymer, a film polymer, which is stretchy, which actually, it's the brush is amazing too. I mean, it's a big brush, so you can coat all your lashes. Okay. And that polymer sticks to your lashes, so it doesn't move. Great if you find your, your mascara flakes. Um, the other one, good old MAC Zoom Lash, makeup artists swear by this. It's got a very skinny brush, so it's very good if you've got very thin lashes, and um, you, can get to do, you can get two or three coats with that, and it's beautiful. And it's okay. quite a wet formula, so it goes a long way. Okay, and the final one that you brought in? And the in? final one, um, Elizabeth Arden, Lasting Impression. This is launching at the end of the month, and I really love the fact that it does actually give you like mm. a false mascara. It's like a twirly brush. It gives you a false lash effect full of ceramides. 
Nice. So it's full of protein, so it actually helps lengthen your lashes and nourish That sounds science and we yeah. like that. Hey, yeah. Trudy, thank you so much for that. It's a pleasure. Some great tips there. For more of Trudy's tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.